Welcome. We are in the second part of 65. We are in 65B, graphs of logarithmic functions. So we're just going to learn how to graph these. So the most important thing, we did this a couple of lessons back where we actually understood the different moving parts within the a function for an exponential function versus a logarithmic function because we know a logarithm is just an exponent. It's another way to express that. So when we do, uh, let's say, for instance, this y is equal to 2 with an exponent of x um, function, we know we could pick a value for x and put it in as the exponent, and then we get out the value for y. When we flip that to a logarithmic function, um, then y is no longer the value of the base with the exponent. y is now the exponent. So um, here, y is going to be the exponent for whatever value we put in for x. So that essentially means we could take the values for y that we calculated for the exponential function and plug them in as values for x and we will get the values that we plugged in as x in our exponential function as the values for y in our logarithmic function. Basically, if we can solve this and convert it into the logarithmic function or convert the logarithmic function into an exponential function and then solve it, then we can just flip the points. We can flip the x's for the y's and the y's for the x's. They come out to be the same thing. And if you pause the video and look for just a moment, you will see the calculations. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to write this example down so that you can see how it works and see all the moving points. Like for instance, when x is 0 in the exponential function, 2 to the 0 is 1. So 0 and 1 is our first point. But in our logarithmic function, we're looking for the answer that would give us 1. If x is 1, then the base is 2. Then the exponent that would give us 1 is 0 because 2 to the 0 is 1. So um, it takes a little bit more of a thought process here than it does here. So sometimes you can take this, flip it to the exponent, solve it, and just flip the points around. And it, it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit faster process to get there. So let's look at what those graphs look like. So here I have pulled up Desmos, and I've typed in these two graphs. So here we have y is equal to 2 to the x power. And if you notice, remember our points, when x was 0, y was 1. And that's what we have here. Also, when x was 1, when the exponent is 1, 2 to the 1 gives us a value of 2. All right. Let's see if I can. There we go. Also, when x is 2, y is 4. Because 2 to the 2 squared is going to give us 4. If I can get that to pop up right there. When x is 2 y is 4. And our last point that we did, let me see if I can move that down. When y is 3, or when x is 3, y is 8. Now looking at the logarithmic function, remember we said that the points flip, right? So let's look at those points again. So instead of 0, 1, we should have 1, 0. Instead of 1, 2, we should have 2, 1. Instead of 2, 4, we should have 4, 2. And instead of 3, 8, we should have 8, 3. So let's look and see. So we have 1, 0. 0 is 1. Or 0 is the y value. And x is the 1 value. So 1, 0. And when we have an exponent of 1, when we had 2 to the 1 power, right? So 2 to the 1 power, the value was 2. That gave us 1, 2. Well, now we have 2, 1 right here. When the exponent was 2, the y value was 4. But now when our answer 
is 4, our exponent is 2. So our values have indeed completely flipped. Um, and again, when our y value is 3, our x value is 8, whereas it was on the other, on the exponential version, 2 to the third power meant y had the value of 8. So remember that was right here. This is 8, 3, 3, 8. This is 8, 3. If I can get there. 8, 3. Come on, right there. So they do indeed. They flip. There's um, That's just the way that they work. And if we take step back and take a look at it, you can see that that curve, it's not a true mirror. It's like it's flipped and then flipped again, almost, if you look at it. But you could see the asymptote uh, goes down the other axis. All right, so let's look at our practice problem. And here's how I want you to solve the practice problem. So here's 65.3. And in the book, it says that it wants us to sketch, right? the graph of the function that is y is equal to the log of 3.5x. That's what you need to, to sketch, right? I don't want you to sketch that. Instead, I'm going to give you the opportunity to just add in some points for whatever the practice problem is that you're given in the book. Um, that way we can self-grade. And let's be real, it's hard to draw this in Jupiter. It's very difficult. So I'm going to give you the uh, values that I want you to use, and then you can plug in the points for that. So um, for this one, for instance, I would ask you to flip this into its exponential form. So this would turn into um, y is equal to 3.5 to the x power. And then I would say, okay, now that you've given me this, I want you to solve and give me the points for the exponential graph using 0, 1, 2, and 3 as your x values. So you would just give me that table with x and then I would ask you to set it up like this, where there's a blank here, and you're going to have to type this in. 3.5 to the x would go there. And then I would have 0, and I would have 1, and I would have 2, and I have 3 here, and I'm going to have a blank here, and 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 a blank here. And then that is going to give you the values here. Um, then I'm going to ask you for the logarithmic points for this graph. And you're going to give me the points for this function. So we would solve this like this. This would be 3.5 to the x value. Well, 3.5 to the 0 is going to be 1. 3.5 to the 1 is going to be 3.5, right? Um, and so forth and so on. And then you'll just use your calculator. It's fine. That's what we have them for. You would have 3.5 to the 2 and 3.5 to the 3. And then we'll just figure out what that is. 3.5 xy squared 12.5. Two, five. And then this one would be, let's clear this, 3.5xy to the third power, 42.875. So then I would say, give me the logarithmic points, the log coordinates.
and I would want you to give me 1, 0, 3.51, 12.252, and 42.8753. All right, that's what we're going to do instead of trying to graph this on Jupiter because it's extremely difficult. Now, this one problem is going to give you a whole lot of work. And I think that's going to be sufficient uh, for you to complete all of that. And each point will be checked um, and grade itself automatically. And that's going to help you a lot. But that is the, the way that you would want to solve this. It, it will make it a little bit easier on you to flip it to the exponential form, solve for the points that I give you, and then create your log coordinates by just flipping the X and Y values. That's how we're going to do it. All right, and then you don't have to sketch anything. And that'll be a lot easier on you guys because you would have to do all of these steps in order to sketch it in the first place. All right, so instead of having you sketch it, I'm just asking you to give me the data. And that's all we have for Lesson 65. I will see you all in Lesson 66. Have a great week.